Hey guys, welcome back to eFishing. I'm Rodney, and today, well, we're going to talk a little bit about what to get your angler for Christmas. Now, a lot of times, if you got a fisherman in your life, they've got all kinds of rods and reels and lures and all kinds of stuff, and it's just really kind of, well, it would be frugal for you to go out and pick them out something at the store because there's all kinds of stuff, and you just don't really know what they want. But today, I've got five things that I want to talk about that your fisherman might want for Christmas this year. They might have them, they might not. It's stuff they can use in their journey. So let's get to it. First thing we got up today is a pair of line clippers. Now, when you're retying your lure and whatnot, you need to have a little pair of clippers right handy to trim that little tag end up or to cut your bait off and put a new one on. Now, these clippers right here, they're right handy. They've got a little uh, clip on them that you can hook them to your belt and then it's got a retractable part out that you can pull that thing out and have them right at hand all the time. Number two on our list, well, it's a pair of fishing gloves. Now, if your angler fishes in the cold, they might like these things. They're windproof and they're water resistant. They're not waterproof, but they're water resistant and uh, they, they will keep your hand warm when it's a cold day out there, especially if you're out there and you're catching big old smallmouth. Uh, might be the right thing to have. Uh, the fingers are cut out of them, so you can use your fingers to tie knots and whatnot. They're a good little thing to have. Number three on our list of things to have, well, is a lure retriever. If you've got one of them expensive crankbaits hung up down there in a tree stump or on a rock or whatnot, you want to get that thing back. And a lure retriever is right handy to have. Now this one, it telescopes out there, and you can go down there and punch it out, punch that thing off of a stump or whatnot but uh, the other thing you can do is if you get it hung up in a tree you can go up there in the tree and get your lure back which can be right handy at times number four is a rod rack now if you've got a bunch of fishing rods extra rods around and they're piled up in a corner and whatnot well that's that's not real sightly and well your rods leaning up in a corner like that can put a bend in them and kind of mess them up so if you got a rod rack it sure helps store those extra rods so they don't get messed up. Number five is a camera. Why would you say a camera? Well, your angler might want to document their catch and having a good quality photo is just the right thing. Other things they can do, if they're out on the lake and they see a pretty picture, they can take, they can snap that picture with a high quality camera. Now, the camera I'm using is a Sony ZV-1 and I'm actually recording on that camera right now. I've been really impressed with that thing. It's taken a lot of great photographs for me for the past couple of months and I'm just really pleased with it. And I believe your angler would be too. Now, another camera, well, we're gonna give you six here because here's another camera that you might wanna get your angler. You might wanna get them a GoPro. If they're out fishing, they might wanna start documenting and videoing That's their fish for memories and whatnot. So a GoPro is another good little camera to have for your angler. What do we got? That's a big in there. <clears throat> Well, there you go. There's five things. Well, six if you count the two cameras that you can get your angler or you can send this video to somebody that might be shopping for you. Keep that in mind too. All of these products, there's links down there in the description. Go down there and check them out. I follow them to Amazon. I'm an Amazon associate, so I get a little bit of commission if you buy one of those things. They don't cost you any extra. And if you want to support the channel, just follow those links for your normal Amazon shopping. I'm Rodney with eFishing. Thanks for stopping by and we will catch you all out on the lake next time. We're out. 